And for statistical reproducibility, I'm a huge fan of any software that allows you to record the syntax or the code. It is essential that whenever an abstract is going out or whenever a paper is going out or anything that is, is going to be documented from a data set. The data, itself, it's, data set itself must be archived, but also the procedures that produced the results that are reported. I'm always concerned about graphical user interfaces or GUIs where you're pointing and clicking because after that abstract goes or after the paper is submitted, there's really no trail of breadcrumbs showing you exactly what has happened. Whereas if you've had to, if you've written syntax or if you've written statistical code, whether that's in SPSS, SAS, or R, all of that can be archived along with the data set, dating the abstract, dating the paper, and therefore if questions come back from reviewers or someone else that says, hey, what about this? You have immediate access to exactly what you did and the data set. It's also very good because down the road, people may reach out to you and say, hey, can I have the data set from this publication? And can you share your code with us? And it's, it's good to always be able to place your fingers exactly on, on the materials that produce those results. I'm a, I'm a huge fan of the uh, BIRD resources that are available throughout the partner network. Uh, with regard to being able to reach a set of methodologists throughout the network, Tulane, uh, out South Alabama, University of Missis Medical College of Mississippi. All of us, are there are stat statisticians and methodologists stationed throughout the partner network and have office hours and time, walk-in times where you can come in and discuss everything from power to reproducibility to archiving, all the key things that you need to be able to do not only can they do this for you with regard to papers and manuscripts, they can assist you in the writing of your grants to emphasize each of the four components and point you to resources on the CCTS webpage that can help you with all the four. But the methodologists are, are there definitely to help you with scientific rigor, especially with regard to st the stats design, power, and data management.